In this video, we're looking at four minimal desk setups that you submitted to us. Let's take a look at the first one. MJ submitted this super custom minimalist setup they said they're using for work, media consumption, and some slight gaming. And I'll be honest, I'm just really enjoying the dark theme with this one. I gotta give MJ credit here. This is a super unique desk with a custom made wooden frame in black and a custom made surface that's wrapped with a mahogany vinyl wallpaper and a desk shelf that's made to match with that same vinyl wallpaper. MJ's using a Bata HDNY 143 chair in white. This is a pretty popular brand that's found on Amazon and they retail for around $200 USD. Keeping that custom theme going, we got the Red Dragon K588 keyboard with the Virtual War keycaps and an HXSJT66 mouse in white on top of a custom made 90 by 30 extended mouse pad in the Firewatch theme. This setup's got a dual stacked monitor that appears to be floating with that Vivo dual monitor arm. The top monitor is a 24 inch bezel A24H and the bottom is a 34 inch wide A-Vision 34G9C. Illuminating the setup on top of the top monitor, we got the Basis HW1016 light bar. MJ's got an Intel i7-4790 for the PC and an Acer B702 in black case and you can see the additional specs over on the side. MJ then submit a picture of the wire management underneath the desk, but you can see here behind the monitors, they got the wires kind of wrapped around the monitor arm, and because of the size of the two monitors, you really can't see anything from the front side when you're working at the desk, so everything looks pretty clean. Now, just taking a look at the overall design, sort of additional accessories on the desk, you can tell this thing is highly personalized. I really like the personal touch to this desk, and overall, I think this is a great setup. Danker Kibble submitted this ultra clean minimalist setup to us with the main use being for work as a developer and some occasional gaming. Now I'm really wishing he would have submitted a version of this with all the LEDs on. At first glance, this looks like the popular Alex drawer set from Ikea, but it's actually a custom white melamine file drawer paired with a custom finger joint table and a steel leg on the left side that we can't actually see. Danker Kibble said he's using an unbranded chair, but this thing really reminds me of that look of the sale from Herman Miller. He's currently working on top of a K-Trio mouse pad with a Keychron K8 for keyboard and a two mouse setup depending on if he's working or gaming with the Logitech M510 for work and the Red Dragon Cobra Chroma M711 for gaming. This is another dual computer setup with an i7 16GB Mac for work and then an i5 Asus C490M Plus in a Cougar MX330 case. For speakers, Danker's got the Bose Soundlink Minis, and for headphones, he's got two actually. He's got the MPOW X3 Wireless and the Logitech G332s. The wire management on this setup is superb and by far the best for this episode. You can tell on the back of the monitor arm, he's got everything hidden on the back side of the pole. You can't really see anything from the front of the setup. Underneath the desk, super unique using an AC duct to hide all of his cables. He screwed this to the desk and added some additional wire holes at the end to channel everything out. This Porsche theme setup was submitted to us by Agent0059 and he uses this setup mostly for work. Now I might be a little bit biased here, but I'm loving all this Porsche stuff. And I actually had a Porsche 911 for a little bit, but realized pretty quickly, not the best family vehicle back on the bucket list. Now he's using our very own Vert SV3 frame and a driftwood laminate top that comes from the same factory. And for a chair, we've got the super popular autonomous Ergo Chair Pro. He's currently using a curved 34 inch ultra wide monitor from Dell and a Dell single monitor arm to keep the thing looking nice and clean. And on top of the monitor, we've got a BenQ light bar. I really like this light bar as this is the same one we've got on our setup here at BTOD. Agent 0059's running the Logitech MX keys for a Mac for his keyboard and the Logitech MX Master 3 for the mouse. And it's on top of the Grove made medium desk pad. He's currently running a dual computer system with the M1 Mac Mini and the Dell Latitude 5400 and a KVM switch to toggle between the Mac and the PC, a Dell docking station, and a 4 terabit external hard drive for speakers. He's running Yamaha HS5s with the Motu M2 audio interface. Lastly, taking a look at the wire management on top of the desk, you can tell it's all nice and put together. When we look at the bottom of the desk, not quite as well put together. You got sort of a track system. Now, of course, this is a customer of ours. And we probably could have done a better job getting him a wire management box to really tidy things up and make this thing look complete. I'm just absolutely loving this minimalist setup here submitted to us by Connor. He said the main uses for it are trading and university, and it's got just the right amount of RGB lighting to provide that nice backlighting for this particular setup. He went with the super popular IKEA Alex drawer set in white and paired it with an IKEA Carlby top in walnut, and really this contrast is just amazing. Now he also has an Axia 2.4 ergonomic chair with the headrest. This is a high-end European brand, and I found it starting at about $1,300. USD. The top down look really shows off how massive this 49 inch Samsung Odyssey G9 monitor is and with that wall mount it really keeps this nice and clean. Now the hustle sign that's above the monitor on the shelf may 
may or may not be for you, but honestly, I'm really digging this, especially with all the greenery around it. Connor's using the super popular Logitech MX Keys keyboard and the MX Master 3 mouse on top of a wool mat that he said he purchased off of Etsy that doesn't have a brand name. This setup's run with a MacBook Air M1 2020, Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers, and the SteelSeries Arctis 9X wireless headphones. On the right side of the setup, he's got some miscellaneous stuff. He's got the IKEA Scottis pegboard with accessories from IKEA, some additional posters from a poster sale. Love to hear some more specifics about that poster sale. And then lastly, the IKEA Fejica plant range up on the top where you got the hustle sign. Totally murdered these IKEA names. I will get better, I promise. The last thing we're taking a look at is the wire management on the setup and on the top you can tell he did an awesome job here taking all the wires channeling down from the monitor through a sleeve down to the underside of the desk and underneath here we've got another tray with another sleeve running the power from the tray down to the wall. Overall this is pretty good. I think this could be better and we'd love to see something a little bit more robust to really hide everything and keep everything out of sight. Hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next setup series. Thanks for watching.